microphone going, there's no possible way Michael Todd can win this match. And I'm like, you son of a bitch. So I just went for it, man. And I, I felt all kinds of just shit bad. And at three and a half minutes or so, Yoshi just let out one little whimper. <laughs> I don't know what, how to say it. And he just laid down to me. And I pinned him. Um, so that happened then. And then it was probably three weeks later, I was in Mar Mallorca. And I pulled uh, Martin Vote out. Boom, he jumped out of my hand. And I pulled him back. Then I pulled Neil, and there's Neil and I are pulling. There's all kinds of cracking and popping going on tomorrow. Then three weeks later, I'm at the World Championships. I wasn't going to enter, but I was the only guy, you know, it was me and Jim Bryan there. So I thought, well, you know, I'm not going to pull right hand. This messed up, but I'll go ahead and jump there left. And I dove in, smacked some dude, then pulled Borrelato, and he smacked me. And then Quick Beanie smacked me. My arms hurt like hell. So I came home. I couldn't beat my stepson, Josh. I mean, he wasn't even that strong then. <laughs> no, he's pretty, he's decently strong now, but then. He was in, and he was beating the shit out of me. I was like, oh my God, my arm's messed up. Well, then I, I let it heal. Didn't pull any more tournaments past the Worlds in September. Healed October, November, December. I had a super match with Terrence Offerman in January. My arm was pretty strong. I mean, it was pretty stout then. So I go in there, and I, you know, Terrence still busted my hand. We're going to strap him, just, just drilling. You know, look at the camera posing. Match four. I hit make it look like he hit me out of position, but really I put my arm there just to make the match look a little better. And I'm holding him, and then he goes, pop, 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 pop. And I was like, oh my God. I just, my arm went down, I was like, oh my God, this hurts. Well, it was 3-1 at that point, and I wanted to win, I didn't want to tie. Somehow, match five, I sat up and just flashed this, I'm just as hard as you could hit somebody, smacked him. Match six, I tried the same thing before they said go, and I couldn't even move his arm. I mean, it hurt so bad, just, I guess it's adrenaline or something. Well, I'm ice my arm out and everything. Well, we jump on a plane the next day, land in Dallas, and I've had a hoodie on. I go switch into a polo shirt, and my arm is black and blue from here to here. I'd never had that. I was like, that's something wrong. Never go to the doctor. Just recently got health insurance. Went to the doctor, and he said, oh, no. He actually, no, it's not broke. It's just a muscle tear. Actually, I got him on Monday, and on Tuesday, had it all wrapped up black and blue, went to the gym, did a 475 inch on it, <laughs> which was kind of stupid. But I didn't, you know, I was like, ah, it's cool, it'll hold together. And then the next day I went and go, it's not broke, it's just a muscle tear. So I went back to training. But I just kept, you know, anytime I went here, I just felt a lot of pain, you know, just a ridiculous amount of pain. And poor Josh couldn't, couldn't hook him, my top rope couldn't hook him. So about three weeks out from Bordelotto, I did no pulling at all, none. Showed up over there, you know, I, I knew my arm was tweaked. Told Neil in the interview, man, you know, this guy's gonna, to beat me, he's gonna have to break my arm. I said, and it might break tomorrow, we're gonna find out. I said, but uh, I'm going at this dude, I'm not warming up. I'm not, I'm not touching anybody's arm. Cause I know if I warm up and I feel some pain in my arm, I'm, I'm not gonna hit him 100%. I knew I was gonna hit this guy 100% as hard as I could. And I hit him in a perfect shoulder press, a position I never lose from. And I'm looking at the crowd, posing on him and pow, bust in half, dude. I'm like, son of a bitch. Fortunately, it was on Sunday and I'd already beat him on Saturday, so that made TV, you know what I'm saying? Um, then we take me to the hospital and basically there's nothing they did. They're like, uh, we can put you in a cast, but then you probably won't go to Fly International with a cast on. I'm like, just throw me in a sling. You know, I guess for some reason, security or something, if you have a cast, whatever, you may have something inside of it, I don't know. So I had a sling, I'm coming back on the plane. I go to the doctor and uh, said they come to find out that in January it was a partially torn ligament that needed repair. And they basically told me what all happened. Hey, so we can go to your wrist and take out a tendon. I'm like, nah, dude, I'm, what other options? He goes, well, we can go into your leg. I'm like, I, I think I can do a leg tendon in my elbow. Let's go with that. So they went in my knee, dug out a hamstring tendon, rebuilt my elbow, anchored it in here. Pulled it over here, anchored it in, folded it back over, and anchored it back in. So uh, when this sucker heals back, it's going to be pretty salty, you know. Um, I've done some really heavy training on it already. Um, did a little bit of pulling today on some ready goes. I mean, I feel okay. I'm probably 40%. But what did uh, like when you came back from the reconstruction? What was your, what did your rehab consist of? Like, was it? Just well, real light weights, real light table time, yeah. no table time, what was it? Well, they didn't, I mean, I didn't go to any physical therapy. They just let me do it on my own. The bad thing was, like, three weeks after my surgery, my right arm was so strong. Like, you could grab me with both hands, and without gripping the table, I just, man, I just mashed, you know. Well, then about five weeks, I was getting a little weaker. Around six weeks, I was like, damn, 
Round seven weeks, Josh was really strong. <laughs> I was like, damn, why can't I beat him? But you know, all the things that I did to train, pull-ups, parallel bars, rope climbs, couldn't do that anymore, you know? So my right arm got really, really weak. So when I could start training again, it was like, I do 30 rep sets on most of my stuff, on like bench and stuff like that. I'm doing 95 pound bench press on the incline for 30, 95 for 30 on a flat, 95 for 30 on a decline, 10 pound dumbbell hammer curls, 10 pound front raises, you know? And it's just, next week I went to 115 and 115 and 115. Then after that, it was 10 pounds of workout. Every time I did chest, I went up 10 pounds. Now, could I have done more than 95 to start off with? I'm sure, but I didn't know what my elbow would hold up to. So I just, each week I've seen it. My goal was, I just wanted to see an improvement. You know, if I, if I started low enough, then each week I could keep seeing an improvement. And um, the only arm wrestling training I did was my rope pulling machine. I got a Marpo Kinetic rope pulling machine. Similar to what Ryan Espy does with the sled where you pull the rope, but then you pull the rope. But mine just feeds back in and you just keep pulling it. I started pulling it like 15, 20, 30 minutes a day, every day. And it's changed me as an arm wrestler. Part, partially because when I got back on the table and started pulling, well, I couldn't pull with this, you know. This move wasn't working because it put a lot of stress here. So I was like, okay, I'll just push off this one. I'll just start rolling back with it. Well, I'm pretty comfortable doing that now, you know. Um, there's a few things I still need to improve upon. My rotator's getting really good. I need to start applying, like I said, this last weekend, and every match back, it's just been straight back pressure, and then wait till my opponent makes a mistake. I'm gonna think I'm gonna start back and maybe get a little bit of side at the end of that. I'm, I feel good. You know, and, and the, you know, a lot of people give me credit for being strong right now. I, this is just the beginning. Um, I'm new to being this size, and I've been 270, 280 now for about three months. Let this weight stick with me for about six more months. Let me get back into doing my rope climbs, my parallel bars. Um, I haven't done a single wrist curl yet. You know, I mean, I, there's things that I still have to incorporate back into my training. But part of it is my confidence. I'm pretty confident right now that if I can stop a match, I can beat you. You know, um, there's not really any position on the table right here that I feel uncomfortable. I'm confident talking on people. I'm confident relying on my rotator. You know. And I'm always going to put on a show, so it's going to be entertaining. But uh, I feel good, man. After something like that happens to your to one of your arms, is there anything in the back of your head ever, or you try and shut that out? Like you go into a match, you're not thinking, "Fuck, I better be careful." You're just thinking, "I'm going to kill this guy." The roughest thing about the arm busting was the fact that I mean, I've lifted weights since I was a kid. I couldn't do shit, you know. Hell, I couldn't do anything but walk for six weeks. Tanya basically had to bathe me in the shower, you know, I couldn't, my leg wouldn't move. That, that, the worst part of it was my leg. But yeah, um, that busting of the arm just coming, like I haven't shoulder pressed anybody yet left-handed. I just recently did a couple of hook matches today. I'm nervous with the left arm. I don't give a shit about my right arm. You put it in any position you want, I'm pulling, you know. The left one's the only one that, you know, my right's not gonna break. It may fracture again and again and again, you know. Right now from this weekend, I feel like I've got stress fractures all through my forearm, just like shin splints. Oh, it hurts to squeeze my hand, it hurts everything. But, you know, it'll heal. <laughs> I mean, I got five weeks from today, I'm the headline match in Germany, and two weeks after that, you know, I have a potential super match with Richard Lubkies, or whoever they, you know, Neil and Bill and Robert decide to make me pull, or decide for me to pull. I mean, like I said, I'm not dodging anybody. I, like, I, I do want to pull Devin, I don't think I'm quite ready. Um, I don't see that being a match that's going to happen anytime soon, but I do believe, you know, I'm, 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 that's definitely who my, I, uh, my sights are set on, you know what I mean? And if you're not focused on being the best, why do this? I mean, I, I'm not playing around. You know, I, I don't like myself as much being this weight. My quality of life's not quite as good being this size. I like being an athlete. I like hiking, biking, playing basketball. I like being 220, 230 pounds and can run forever and, I like that dude, you know, but this guy is strong, you know what I'm saying? So this is going to be me for a while. I just want to congratulate you as we wrap things up on your win against Dennis. Thanks, on, on just how fucking strong you are right now, how motivated you are right now. This is, it's, it's inspiring to see, and I love to see you like this. This is awesome. I appreciate it. And bro. thanks for taking the time to talk to us. Always and, a pleasure, uh, man. It means a lot. I'm going to get down here and train real soon again. I love so having you here, brother, for real. I mean, All right. I want to come up there and pull with Devin, too. <laughs> come on <laughs> see, up. See what I got to do with. <laughs> I'll give you the scouting report. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot, Mike. Sweet, bro. Thanks a lot.